24 hours security guard, bitch, I'm big time This is two peas in a podcast. True. Facts. Last episode, we were in the car, on the road. We yeah, almost was died. That? It was top ten episodes of anything of all time. It's true. Honestly. We're making it up on the pad ca- uh, podcast billboard. We're close to that one guy. Um, that one guy who's going to start our OnlyFans if they're at the top of the podcast. Mark, Mark, Mark Plyer. Mark, Markiplier. 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 <laughs> We're gonna pass you because no one True. wants to see that. You don't mess with the low gang, bro. You don't mess with the low gang. <laughs> Anyways. Who that is, but yeah, we just talked about homecoming events that were gonna happen, and guess what? They did happen, and we lived it, so we're gonna tell you how that went. <laughs> we did live it. That's who <laughs> we lived it. We made it out the trenches, bro. So, there was a homecoming parade. Um... We were invited to join boys water polo since we have a we have a winter sport and the boys have a fall sport but we were invited to walk with them. Yeah, um, cuz we're they always want want us there so. Honestly, we were throwing things and ASB wasn't happy about that, but how do you want the people to get their candy? This is true. They're it's more fun that way. That, that that means they can go and like try to catch it and if they don't then they suck. If they don't then <laughs> Homecoming happened. We were in the parade. There was also a carnival after. I did I was, not pull up. I was in the spotlight booth. We were doing caricatures, and honestly, I'm sorry if I drew you or Delaney because Delaney made a baby cry. No <laughs> way. Did she actually? She because we were doing caricatures, right? Mm-hmm. And they weren't supposed to be good. We used our one good fellow member of Spotlight, um, Jaden. She drew amazing portraits, and. So our job was to draw portraits, but them come out bad. Honestly, it wasn't that bad, and, and, but when it came to the kids, Delaney drew some, and one of them cried. That's the golden life, bro. It was all for love and games. Character development. You know, these kids are being raised too soft, you know? I was, I was raised on Panda Express and Grown Ups. <laughs> so these kids have it easy, bro. Facts. Um, so yeah, that's a thing that happens. The homecoming dance. That did happen. Um, I guess me and my pals, we made shirts. We were the coolest ones there, I'm going to be honest. Fire shirts. We, because the dance theme, okay, I thought the dance theme was come as your, like, board game. Yeah, because last time we talked about how the different classes had board games, but then at the dance, it was like each class has a color, which I thought was a little bit lame, but it was still fun to all, we all got blue shirts and we all designed them. Yeah. Before the dance, we got blue shirts. We cut them up, designed them, put some little bedazzle, bedazzle all over them. We had fun with it. It's true, and it was a rager. Something that seniors do. Bro, after after the dance, we went to <laughs> to get a little snack, and it was me driving a van full of, like, seven people, and that Wendy's worker went to town on me, bro. She, that was funny. She did not hold back. She was very angry at Taya for some reason. I was. I kept ordering food, and she said... This is your total. This is your total. And I said, no, I'm not done. I'm not done. She said, okay, then order. And I said, okay, can I have a chicken sandwich, please? Sandwich? She, yes, it was. A, it's a sandwich. A sandwich. Mm-hmm. She says, okay, your total is. I said, I have like five more orders. And she says, just give me a minute. And out comes the manager. She's just so annoyed that we were ordering it's such a big order. But I'm like, it's a Friday. Bro, don't choose the night shift. Bro. It's a Friday night. Like, what do you expect? So we're boycotting Wendy's. Um, I did go last week, but it was during the daytime. It was during the daytime. It's a different shift. Boycott night shift Wendy's. True. But you know that, um, mango pineapple lemonade that they always have? So good. (laughs) That's busted. Then move me so I can buy more. It is. But that happened, and honestly, that high of the homecoming events really got me up. (laughs) (laughs) That sounded wrong. (laughs) Ew. Anyways, now there's a void in my life that has nothing, nothing has filled it, but I am taking applications for a boyfriend, so. Yeah, that has Someone's everything to me. do with Wendy's. She's getting a little dingly. Poway. Hello. Whoever had something to say didn't really have anything important to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the thing that happened. Um, 
next thing we're going to discuss. After homecoming season is autumn, and that's when the leaves start changing and the weather gets a little bit colder. And the and girls get a little more careless. Oh, it's true. Oh, fish. We need to introduce my fish. Name is Evan, goes by he, they. Please be respectful. Um, she broke my plan. We move. Um, Evan, I love you to the day I die. She loves that fish, bro. She loves that fish. The yeah, last fish. Oh. <laughs> the last fish I had, my grandma boiled him to death. <laughs> um, she thought I, it was gonna. It was. It was cold. I I asked my grandma to watch my fish while I was out of town, and she put it in hot water because she thought he would be too cold, and he died. It's an honest mistake. But nah, bro. She was trying to make like salmon or something. Stew or something. Bro, I don't know. Fall's happening. You pull out your grandma sweaters, grandpa sweaters, cargo pants, your puffer jackets. Puffer jackets are so. What is the word? What is the word? What is the word? Beautiful. No, but if you know the word, you know the word. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah, for fall, just fall's the best time for clothes, I think. And with fall comes the welcoming of Halloween season. <laughs> it is currently Tuesday, October 25th. Um, Halloween is in uh, just a few days. Yeah. And so let's talk about Halloween costume do's and Halloween costume don'ts. Okay. She's really Literally don't. This. You know that Amazon corset top, the green one? Bro, don't wear that. Don't wear it. Listen, so amongst this October month, I've been asking people around school, what are they going to wear for Halloween? You know, because I want to know. I want to know what they're going to wear so I can top that and be better and look better. So I've been asking people, you know, most people I ask usually have a couple's costume with someone, which is cute, whatever, fine. But listen, prisoner and cop. Bad. It's very ori- very non original. You know. But honestly, easiest is easiest. I know it's hard sometimes to find a couple's costume, but you can be like Taya and her lovely person and do a better couple costume. Mavis and Johnny from Hotel Transylvania. That's literally it's so fire. good. It's such it's a good fire, costume. Bro. And listen, why does the boy always have to be the robber? That's what I want to know. It's true. It's misogyny or something. Let the men be cops! Ooh, she's passionate about this. And the women, let them be bad. It's true. Another do and don't for couples costume. If you're a couple and you're dressing up, like, I know it's really obvious, but last year there were some people that did not follow this rule. If you purposefully are dressing up as a couple, why doesn't the costume match? <laughs> last, last year, I swear on my life, I watched a guy dress up as a cowboy and a girl dress up as a witch. <laughs> It was hair in my mouth. And they called it a couple's costume. Who was that? Bro, I cannot say the name. Who? I'm watching. I'm watching. Dot, dot, dot. No, honestly, their, their costume this year is better, honestly. It's good this year. Um, This year, I'm also going to dress up as Men in Black. And we <laughs> actually also had a Halloween water polo party. She dressed up as Post Malone. That Yardy was fun. And then I dressed up as Captain Underpants. You can insert pics if you want to see it that bad. That's true. Just ask. Yeah, and this Friday, me and Tay are going to a little party shindig. shindig. Freshman K, sophomore K, junior, whatever. But um, I'm going to be going as Maxine from X, you know. Oh, star! The whole world's going to know my name. I will not accept a life I do not deserve. You started sounding like Harry Styles at the end of that. Oh, another thing that... I got a text message, but I can't see it because I'm too busy on the grind. A real thing that happened, Don't Worry Darling, came out. An album by Taylor Swift came out. So many things happened at once. Don't Worry Darling, I actually love that movie. It was good, bro. People, some people didn't like it, but honestly, I don't care. I thought it was a good storyline. All the indies gave sense. it two, story, two stars because they're like anti Harry Styles because he's fake indie his, which I'm gonna be honest he is a fake indie his acting wasn't that bad though it people thought it was gonna bad. be like really bad it wasn't that bad and then another movie a Halloween movie that came out Barbarian I didn't see bro it. that that was bad bro you saw it I thought it was bad was it supposed to be scary it was supposed to be a horror movie yes and it was like it had like one good jump scare and the rest of it was really just it's very interesting 
not do well. I wanted to see Black Bone. I wanted to see but that But I too. haven't gotten to see that. I wanted to see Smile too, but I heard the end was really rough. Terrence saw sa- uh, Smile. Did she think it was good? No, they didn't like it. But that's also Brock and Terrence. <laughs> Short intermission, I guess. Okay, quick little intermission. I had to let the bombs into my house, aka my sister. That trap. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyways, yeah, that was uh, those. A lot of movies came out. I want. Yeah, I wanted, there were a lot. I didn't. Movies are expensive, bro. It's like seventeen bucks. Let me just go on soap today or my fixer. She's right. That's my advice. Another thing that came out this fall. Midnight by Taylor Swift, my good pal. Oh. Me and her like this. It's true. She had some songs come out. The one X James Charles best song. True. I forgot how it goes though. Midnight rain. Upon first listen, this is my very honest review. Upon first listen. I was not a fan. I was thinking this is not very this is like a crossover of like three of her albums with Jack Antonoff as producer and I didn't think it was very good. Mm-hmm. But then I listened to more and then I learned to appreciate it. And now I realize it only takes a select few and a very strong brain power to really understand. And I'm happy to say that I understand. So yeah, if you don't understand, good. you're trashy. Oh. Well yeah. honestly I only listened to like two songs, so I'm fake. It's whatever, bro. I forgive you. Um, we had a question by someone also. We had questions. Phone a friend. Well, we posted more like a, what do you guys want us to talk about? Because we didn't know what to talk about this episode. So we asked some people on our Instagram, if you don't follow it, go follow it now. Link in bio. Two Ps in a podcast, PHS. No caps, no numbers, no anything. Exactly. So we did that. And one of the questions was, what's your favorite fall album? What's yours? Mine is... Hold on, you go first. Okay, well, she doesn't know the title of her favorite fall album, so obviously she doesn't even really like music that much. <laughs> but whatever. My favorite fall album is probably, probably. Oh, no, that's not Any true. She and Him album I think is so fall and spring vibes. It's interchangeable. It's really just rainy day, coffee day music. That's top, top two. And my top... Two interchangeable is probably 1989, and people probably think it's a summer album, but I think it's cold weather album. That's Makes my sense. that's my opinion. Well, during fall, you know, I always gotta listen to that girl in red. We fell in love in the Bro, that's hella sus. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing much to it. I just listen to girl in red. Not not a big deal. My mom listens to girl in red too, cause she liked that well, girl in red for fall. And, what was the other person I said? I don't know. The Smiths. The Smiths! <laughs> the Smiths. That's all I gotta say. I was in the land of shades and the blessings out. And heaven knows I'm miserable now. Honestly, she never does, like, even knows the lyrics. She just sings them in hopes that they're right. Um... You know, and it always turns out, it's always a different lyric every single time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What was my mom's question, I guess? Her mom actually asked us a question on our Instagram. She asked... Well, now that you miss, guys are seniors, yeah. what will you miss most about high school? To which I have to say, those school lunches, bro, those things are so busting. There's always a very very large variety of they things to choose. I think it's so good. I actually had a guy once ask me if I like school lunches, and I said, yes, I love school lunches. What are you talking about? And he said that I'm less attractive because of it, and he said <laughs> That's a real thing. That's that a true fact. I remember she told me that. And I know who it is, and if you're out there, I'll kill you. If you can guess who it is, I'll give you a high five. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I uh, also like... The school lunches, I get them. I like the Chinese food they have sometimes. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it's pretty good. I also like the Robosco sticks. I honestly have no clue what that is. It's good. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. But the thing I would miss from senior year is... Um, um, lunch.
lunch. So, <laughs> wow. I don't know what I've missed, to be honest. Because I don't, I think it would be the same after. But that's just nice. my opinion. Um, we had another question. Craziest story. From our good friend Elaine Norris, she said, tell the craziest story ever. So, you want to go first, or? The craziest story? Um, you can go first. Okay. Well, basically, around this same time last year... Disrespectful. It's disrespectful to us because we're working. Look at how hard we're working, bro. Do you see this? It's a little fish in a tank. Bro, this ought to be our, um... If we get 10 likes, I'll, I'll swallow the fish. 10 likes, she'll swallow the fish. Not clickbait, bro. Also, we did... We posted it on our Instagram, 10K, one chip challenge, and we didn't get up to 10K. So, guess who's not doing the one chip challenge? Us. So... I mean, you guys want to suffer. If you guys want to suffer... not If you guys don't want to watch us suffer, you're doing it right now. Because you didn't get us a 10k. It's true. But it's whatever. And i rather. So, for other episodes, we wanted to do, like, a mukbang where we try all of the school's lunches. And a real thing that happened... We wanted to, like, like review them. Yeah, we wanted to, like, review them, do a little ASMR. But last week, we went. We, we don't have a fifth period, so we get out after fourth. But we had to stay for, like, half of enhancement. So, we got out early, and we are like, we've had a grub on these school lunches, bro. And we get out and we go to get school lunches and we're about to grab one and we do it in a polite way. Hello, can I please have a school lunch? Can I please have a crumpet and tea? That's we literally were like that. Show. And the <laughs> said, no. Well, the first lady we asked was kind of like, oh, well, let me check, like, maybe. And, like, she looks at the main boss, like, the mafia leader. She looks at her and the leader was all like. Just and like I could tell, like, right when we walked in, she looked at us and started laughing. Yeah, bro. Like, it's our free lunch. Free it's meal. our free lunch. And I don't we, understand why you can't give it to us or why you're annoyed you're going to give it to us. And that's when I had to go spend money and buy Wendy's again literally. after I decided to boycott them. No, literally that happened. And also when I get breakfast after, like, during second period, they're always mad about it. Like, they stay people here, bro. are barely getting like, here and it's free. I know. Like, I understand that there are, like, 500, like, smelly, bussy-smelling kids that sure. walk into that lunchroom and are rude. But, like... If you're being polite, why are we being? And most of that food goes to waste. Yeah, it, most of it goes to waste. It's true. So I don't know why they couldn't just give us lunch. So that's a real thing. What regulations are there? Just tell us, please. It's true. Pull out a form. Mm -hmm. But that kind of crossed like controversy between us and the lunch lady. So we may we think know. about doing that later, but I don't know anymore. Maybe. Maybe if we got like a written apology, that'd be great. If a, a written apology. A lifetime like, time supply of school lunch. You're right. Even though it's free, we still, like, want it always. It's true. Like... Also, I haven't tried their slushies. Oh, or, like, they, you know they have, like, a little snack bar now? In middle school, the slushies and the cookies were so good. A real thing that happened, though, two of my good friends at the time stole $20 from me and bought a bunch of cookies, bro. Are and you they serious? didn't give me any of the cookies. You want to know who it was? <laughs> 
so no way names they will not be dropped. Bucks. But they literally took a twenty dollar bill from me and what? Just bought a bunch of stuff. What'd you say? I said, "Can I have a cookie?" And they said, "No." Oh. They didn't let me have a cookie, bro. So that's not real friendship. I like how the cookies aren't baked all the way, so they kind of like best part cool. about them. But yeah, um, I've never had a slushie there, but I guess they're like one dollar, so. Go let us know how that is. Or you can give me and Taya a dollar so we can buy a slushie. Venmo Taya Dash Summers. Um, the chip prices in the vending machines also, I feel like the price went up. Dude, yes, it's like 150 now. It's 150 for a no, bag. No, 175. Like, the chips, there's like five chips in there, and freshman year they were like only a dollar. Yes. Okay. The freaking um vending machines that I put in my money and then it didn't give me my money back. Because I oh. didn't have enough. So Inflation? I was like, what the freak? Inflation is getting to our schools, bro. And the drinks are like $3. Like, I know those ice drinks at the store are like 99 cents. So why can't they be like a dollar, two dollars? Really too much. Where's that money going to, baby? Where is that money going to? Obviously not the school parking lot because it, our school parking lot is literally still a dump. Really? There's never any room in the parking lot. It's horrendous. I get yelled at in the parking lot for not having a parking space. Remember that? I literally got harassed in the school parking lot. When? Last oh. year. She's just trying to park. Bro, I have beef, like major beef. Um, let's reevaluate our staff before we go and send people that hate children to a place where there are <laughs> children. That's, That's facts. A thought I have in my brain. That's actual facts. Um, also, Mr. Bailey, I apologize for yelling at you today. Um, he came into Miss Marlowe's class today, and Miss Marlowe, or, sorry, um, he walks into people's classes a lot, honestly, that's just a little fun thing he does, and most people like it, you know, most people think it's a good thing to see Mr. Bailey really early in the morning or while you're teaching, um, and have him tell, tell us about his day, which some people like, but this time our door was open, so I said, who left the door unlocked, joking, and he ran out, like, crying, so... Sorry, Mr. Bailey. Maybe we'll, he'll be featured on here sometime. He wants to be featured so bad. Bro's a fan. He is a fan. Like, honestly, he would make us big if I really wanted him to. But honestly, this is we a small business. We can do it business. on our own, bro. We're going to get big on our own. And then you're going to see us at the Louis Vuitton fashion show. Louis like Vuitton. Emma Chamberlain. Louis Vuitton. Exactly. You know who that is? But I love Mr. Bailey. He's a G. Um, She's getting paid to say this. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, maybe if you, maybe if we accept you to come on our podcast, you can raise my grade, but that's about it. That's a good deal. Anyways, my butt is hurting. So I guess that's the end of this episode. <laughs> um, well, she almost killed, um, Evan just now, but I think they'll be all right. They are a beautiful fish, Evan is. Logang out. Baby, you got.